G'day guys, Paps here. Clubhouse is back for another season two. Um, this week on episode one, we've got plenty going on. Only short episode, but we do go through Storm's worst golfers, so tune in for that one. Uh, we also do a Vegas recap. Uh, very jealous of the boys who went over there. And we do get our AFL 2024 predictions in too. So uh, make sure you tune in. Really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. This episode is brought to you by Ricks. Eyewear that inspires confidence. Carefully crafted sunglasses, prescription and blue light eyewear that's made to last. Use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off site-wide. Head over to rickseyewear.com.au and shop all available styles now. Alrighty, let's get into the show. Alright, welcome back to the Clubhouse Season 2, Episode 1. Uh, and we'll just uh, state the obvious straight away. Our money man's not here today. Um, just some family things going on. Um, so hopefully Bianca and the kids are all right. But um, yeah, last minute emergency. So he had to take off. But um, some would say it's going to be a better dy- dynamic today. It might yeah. run a bit smoother. Yeah, he's been weighing us down anyway um, <laughs> for the last year. So it's good that he's the dead weight's off and uh, we can get cracking. No, we love you, Herm. Hope to have you <laughs> back soon, mate. Um, <laughs> But yeah, obviously family comes first, Yeah, footy comes second, podcast comes third. So um, no, what's been happening, Newsy? Obviously been a bit of a break since we last did the uh, the potty. I think we were speaking about the grand final. So um, I think it was October, early October. So it's been a while. It's been a while, mate. Uh, I've been good. Thanks, Paps. Um, obviously had a bit of a bit of a break in the off season and then um, back into it with preseason and back into training with the boys. So it's been good. Um, actually in the off season... Uh, been out a few times and there's a uh, few people asking about the potty actually. Oh, wow. So it's there been a go. bit of a hot topic and I know everyone's been pretty keen um, to get us back. So it's good to be back. Uh, but yeah, we've been training hard. Round one coming up, which is always exciting. Um, good to see you back flying as well. And uh, the boys are looking really good. So super excited for this year, uh, footy wise and podcast wise. So it's been good. How you been, bro? What have you been up to? Yeah, I'm, I'm the same really. I, I think... So many people asking for the podcast to come back. So it was only only fitting. Um, and we do have a sponsor this year. So mm. uh, we will mention that a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, we got a sponsor this year. And yeah, my off season, um, I went away. It sort of seems like so long ago now. But um, obviously, I went back overseas to see Bill Knowles and uh, yeah, did some work on my ankle and, and came back and was sort of back doing preseason in January. So uh, yeah, all's going well. Um, some exciting times coming up with my uh, PlayStation career. Mm, he's I've, back. Uh, I've taken up pro clubs. We've got a squad at the moment on. It's not. It's not called FIFA anymore. Did you know? Yeah, that? they changed it. It's like. Um, is it FC or something? FC twenty four. Yeah, I think FIFA took the rights down or something. Could be wrong about that, but I, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's changed. So um, I've started. I'm just going to keep calling it FIFA because yeah. that's what that's I know. What it everyone is. knows it as. Yeah. But my FIFA career has kicked off. Mm. Uh, playing online. Yeah. And uh, yeah, currently. We're in a promotion uh, sort of stage. So they yeah. changed the thing. From my understanding, it used to be a couple of games you'd play to get promoted. Yeah. But now it's 15 games and I still don't know how many you need to win to get yeah. up. But, um, but you're yeah. tracking all right though. Tracking it all right. Be. I'd say I'm getting a bit better now. And yeah, the uh, PlayStation career is up and alive. He's so uh, I might have to start up a... I might have to start up a stream soon and, yeah, and, and get, get heckled. The, uh, get the stream going. That'd be good, actually. You, you play a bit of, you jam a little bit. Yeah, I'm a bit of a um, 2K. Mm-hmm. I've been jumped back on there recently, sort of like you. Yeah, I used to play Apex, um, but my mates got me back on 2K. So I can't say I'm any good, though. I'm probably like, we play threes at the park. We play three on three and the Is boys. Is it called Blacktop? Is it yeah, Blacktop? Yeah. No, no, no. Blacktop's, blacktops when you just play against the purple um, that you're with. Oh. But like this is online, you can play with other people. Yeah, online. it's called the park. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. So you go into the park with your your teammates, and then you jump on a court and play play others. So is I'm the one they never want to play with though, because I'm my guys always shit. Because <laughs> I, I don't say, grind. I don't grind. It's so. your only. It's your player, right? You yeah. Create so you him. create your player. Pretty funny. I've done a face scan. <laughs> so like you, <laughs> nah. you do it on your phone, and it puts the face on. There. Oh man, it's can not we good. pop a photo up of this uh, <clears throat> of this Jerome Hughes? Because nah. I've got a picture in my head, but. <laughs> Uh, I might be wrong. Whatever so. you're picturing, it'll be it'll, it's exactly <laughs> like that, bro. I tell you, I'll try to get a photo in. I don't know if I want to do this to myself, but I'll, I'll send in a photo and I'll show you what uh, See, the face scan. A ginormous like. head and a long torso. That's what I'm predicting. But and a mustache. Was, really it, was it just a head scan really, or is it a nah, body head scan? scan? Head scan. But My be body, like, I'm bulked up. I'm bulked <laughs> up. I made myself bulked up on that. So. Uh, sounds exciting. We both had, um, yeah, I guess big pre-seasons. We had uh, Munster's wedding in the mm. off-season as well. So... Yeah, that was really cool and, and good to be a part of. And 
like we said, he's away at the moment, but yeah, hopefully he's back for our next recording next week. But um, like we always do, we're going to kick it off with an icebreaker. And this one's a pretty good one and one that I think, I don't know if you've had to do it yet, but we did have it in our punish yeah, team our punishment. Role, yes. So uh, it is, as a punishment for being late, would you rather sing or dance for one minute straight in front of your teammates and coaches? So sing or dance. I'm going to say sing. Sing? Yeah. I'm not a good singer whatsoever. Um, but I reckon if you I, – I don't know how to dance for a minute. Yeah, I reckon yeah. that's just way too long. Where I can sing, it's going to be terrible, but you can find a song, song that everyone a sings little, along. Yeah, yeah, or find a song that's just talking. Yeah. Or something like that where you don't need a good voice. You can just – if it's a rap song or something. Okay. Does it, does it change if you have to – like it has to be like a love song, like a one uh, minute straight love song. Are you still going to sing or are you still going to dance? I'm going to have to because I can't dance for <laughs> I can't dance for Just do a couple of like a neck minute, rolls or yeah, something like that. <laughs> it'd just be awkward and everyone, I honestly feel like everyone will boo me and yeah. I'll get booed off stage. So it I'm going sing? song. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go sing as well. Mm. I, yeah. Definitely not known for my dancing and a minute is a long time. I mean, if you're in a setting, you got everyone yeah, sitting at the back. It's a long time. It's a very long time. So both of us are going to go sing there. Um, which probably leads into our, our first little thing here. It's, uh, I'm sure there would have been plenty of it uh, over in Vegas, but mm. obviously NRL just had round zero over there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very jealous sitting here and, and yeah. seeing how good they did it and the way they promoted it. So yeah, did you watch the games? And um, do you have any stories? Any of the boys, a few of the Kiwis lads go over there? Yeah, it was, it was awesome to see actually. Very exciting. Um, obviously just to have rugby league back, but to do it in – in a place like Vegas and seeing all the hype and um, I thought they'd done it, you know, really well and they hyped it up well. Got I think it was 40,000 to the mm. to the field. The field looked awesome. Yeah. Obviously, it was a bit – the dimensions a were a bit time, shorter, <laughs> but I reckon it looked awesome and you see everyone that uh, went over, if it's players or fans, they all had a good time. So, yeah, personally jealous that they played over there, but some of the things they were doing outside the footy as well was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I follow a few boys on Instagram and they're all having doing some pretty cool stuff over there. So yeah. um, hopefully we get our chance soon. Mm. Um, that would be pretty cool. But, yeah, shout out to the NRL for doing it and how they've done it um, and Vegas for – and, you know, America for jumping on the back of it. I agree. Like I, I'm very jealous, but at the same time I'm also – I feel like the first time is great, but they're going to improve on that first yeah. time. So if you go over next year, it might be better. Yeah. That's what I'm holding on to. Hopefully yeah. we're next year. But yeah. um, I think there was something around like if we gave up one of our home games during the year. Yeah. I we, think that's what it was. Whoever were willing to give up their home game or something like that, then they can go over. Yeah. So. Which is fair. Like we obviously been away for a couple of years, 2020 yeah. and 2021. So yeah. um, I think to be back – have, making the most of our games at Amy Park yeah, was probably yeah. the priority. And for sure. Uh, yeah, I think Frankie, obviously Frankie Panisi is a smart man, so he probably knew that the first time would be great, but the second time's probably going to be better. But yeah. Um, I yeah, reckon so the, the – I was, thinking, I was laughing at them actually. The the people that did have a good time over there were the, the media – some of the media personalities. So <laughs> I'm talking about my mate Cooper Johns. <laughs> oh, I, you know, his stories were – Crack up. He was doing a few interviews and, oh, man, I, I, I tell you, he would have had one of the best times oh, yeah. ever over there. Um, he would have, you know, he would, he probably was loving that he wasn't a player over there because he could do whatever he wants. And then also his dad and that too, mm. like even Maddie and that um, Gordo. Gordy looked like they had a good time. So, um, yeah, if you don't go over as a player, I tell you, go over as a media, yeah. you know, media personality. You'll have a great time over there as well. Do you think like what would is there anything you would change um, from looking outside in? Is there anything you'd change for next year? I, I've got something, but uh, well, I'll let you go first. Yeah, so I I personally think the teams need to come out like now. The teams that are going next going year, over. yeah, because you just got to think right. Like not everyone can afford a trip to Vegas. Yeah, like it's, yeah, that's true. I mean, you can the flight over there is fine, but when you're in Vegas, you know what Vegas is mm. about, right? Mm. So I think to experience the whole event for what it is you need probably 12 months of savings. So yeah, yeah. I'd, that would be the one thing I change is, all right, let's do the teams now. Um, but then the other thing is like, let's have a World Club Challenge over there. Yeah. Like, there might be, it might be, oh, I was going to say it might be five teams, but I don't know how that works logistically. But yeah. That would be my little change. Yeah, I like that. Because then when you think about it, like the more preparation the clubs clubs have, the players have, the fans even have, like mm. obviously if it's their team going over, they can save for that coming over from here or wherever they are in the world. So 
I reckon that's a good idea. Get it in early and, you know, obviously better preparation plus better if, result. If you're coming off contract and one of those teams pops up, you might you'll be playing <laughs> your ass off to get another contract to get to the Vegas game. You'll tell you that much. Yeah, say you're out of favour with the team who's just gone. You just sign with the team who's gone to Vegas the yeah. next year. <laughs> It'll probably work for the negotiations for those clubs. So it's not a bad oh, idea. Yeah, no, I've just thought of that on the spot then. So <laughs> if anyone's coming off contract, yeah. uh, Melbourne Storm talks about us going next year. So, yeah, so if you want to come, come through, let's do it. Um, talk about Vegas, obviously the obvious, the big casinos. Uh, I've heard once you walk into the airport, it's pretty much straight there. You've got a slots machine. So yeah. Um, we're gonna have a bit of a Vegas theme segment here. Maybe a little bit of a quick fire. Yeah. Uh, favorite game to play at the casino? Blackjack. Ooh. Fave number on roulette? Eight. Birthday number. Birthday number. Eight. Okay, nice, easy one. And any big wins at the casino? No. Unfortunately, not. <laughs> Nothing worth talking about anyway. And if I did, it went straight back in. <laughs> yeah. That's a, like there must be so much psychology that goes into mm. creating a casino, like. I've heard about how they, the lighting in there, like there's obviously no windows, so you can't see yeah, outside. You yeah, don't know what yeah. time it is. There's no yeah. clocks inside either. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very smart, but mm, can, very be, smart. can be a deep, deep hole. So, yeah, 100%. gamble responsibly if you do go next year. That's my tip. Uh, for me, favorite game casino would be, I like roulette just because, like, just, just the odds of getting yeah. a, a number is slim, but it's a good yeah. return. Yeah. Favorite number in roulette. I'm going to go with, it's probably 10 for birthday, yeah. but I've got one, number 26. Really? 26. So when we were in origin camp in, I think I was under 18s, no, 20s, because yeah. I wouldn't have been allowed at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing 20s. I think we went to, <laughs> then we played at Brisbane and we went to like a little casino thereafter. Yeah. No, it was 18s. I just turned 18. 18, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could still be 18. Just turned 18. So I was fresh. I hadn't really ex been exposed to it before. So we won 26 nil. I think the score was, or 26. Yeah, it's 26 nil. So we went to the casino and we all just put on 26, 26 and it won. won. Oh, so yeah. now it's one of those ones where it just sticks. Every time we're there, even though that was, gee, nearly 10 years ago, yeah. I was just like, always get 26 on is the one. 26, yeah. 10, 36. Yeah. Pretty much cover the board. Just holding on to just it. Just so you can win. But. Yeah. You probably never won since, but you still got to do it just because of that first. Yeah, because the one time that you don't do it, it's yeah, gonna hit. Gonna win, yeah. It's uh, yeah, no, that's um, Vegas. Obviously, yeah, we really want to be there next year, and yeah, yeah credit to the NRL and, and the fans who turned out. I think, mm. um, yeah, I and think. the players too. The players, it was they were yeah. some quality games there too. Quality teams, and they turned it on, and you know they done the NRL real well. Did you get to watch both games? Oh, I watched a bit of the first game. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I was I caught a flight. During the second game, I think I missed the yeah, second Yeah, I was half, flying but, too, coming back from the Goldie. Yeah, but no, it was, yeah, from what I'd seen and what I'd heard, it's yeah. been uh, been a great success and, yeah, I guess lead into round one now, everyone's mm. talking about NRL and, yeah, I guess we're, what you want. we're front and centre Friday night down here in Melbourne, so mm. we will touch on that. But first, like I said at the start, we do have a sponsor this year, uh, Rick's Eyewear. It's a great, great sunglass brand. We've got some here. We've brought them with us. We do have a segment called What Caught Your Eye. So we will throw these on and we will go through our little segment. But first of all, head to reekseyewear.com and use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off these bad boys. So mm. check it out. Um, we've all got a pair. We've obviously brought our ones in today, but I've got about three or four pairs at home. Yeah, so so do I. very quality, uh, very nice. And yeah, we'll put them on and we'll do our little Rick's segment. So all right, so we got the What Caught Your Eye segment brought to you by reekseyewear.com. And this week's what caught your eye? I believe you've got one, Mr. Hughes. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm um, obviously like our bike. Well, we all like our basketball here at the clubhouse. So I'm just going to go LeBron James. Ooh, 40K. Broke another record. Yeah, 40K. 40K points. Mm. First to ever do it. Um, obviously, most points ever. It's pretty crazy how he's still doing this. He's 39 years old. Yeah. And he's just <laughs> still doing all this stuff. And he's. I think he had another game where he just carried the team and um, obviously they lost that 40K game mm. uh, when he broke the record. I feel like they're, every record, um, every time he breaks a record, they always lose that game. So I think um, Anthony Davis come out and said he's got to stop breaking records because we always <laughs> lose those games. But for him to do that, it's, you know, massive. And to do him, to see him still going well at, um, you know, 39 years of age, it's crazy to see. So oh, It's unbelievable, like. What, like how old are you? I'm I'm 25 and I feel like I'm breaking down. So yeah, yeah. 14 years 29 of and I'm <laughs> stuffed. Body's gone. 
25, oh yeah, like 15 years on us and he's still at the top of his game. And yeah, yeah I guess the Lakers are another story, but for yeah. him to do what he's doing, pretty amazing. So LeBron, if you're listening, you've uh, caught our eye this week and you are our rickseyewear.com catch of the week, I guess. That's yeah. what we're going to call it. Um, so yeah, well done, Rick's Eyewear. Make sure you check it out. Like we said, discount code is Clubhouse for 20% off, free express shipping. And yeah, get your, get your hands on some because they're pretty good and they don't last too long on the website. I'll go quickly. All right, moving on to our 2024 AFL predictions. Ah. Always a fun time of the year. I love doing predictions. Yep. And uh, I guess when you look back, I don't know if we did them last year. I think we did. I'm we pretty did. sure we did. I don't yeah. know if anyone got them right. Hit but, them, but We got pretty close on the NRL grand final one there, I think. so. But this year's our year, I think, 2024 yep. AFL. We obviously all support it, all yep. down here in Melbourne. We've all got our teams yep. for some Husey, he's got three. Uh, but yeah, we, we all, a bit of banter at the club and um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of bets put on the side for uh, AFL prediction. So we'll get mm -hmm. ours in right now. Um, we'll, we'll go quick fire again. I've yep. got four. Um, we'll go you first and I'll go me. So flag, 2024. Uh, I'm going the Western Bulldogs. Okay. It's Western Bulldogs. So one of your teams? Right yeah. On. Obviously, you can't back a team and not go for them. Righto. I the think flag. the flag, I think the Swans will win the flag this year. That's my flag. Top four. Smokey mm. for top four. Well, it doesn't have to be a smokey. smokey to make the top four. Go a lock and go a smokey. Okay. I reckon. I don't really want to do it, but I'm going to go Carlton. Okay. Carlton. I've sort of, since I've been here, been down here, they haven't been that good, but they've just been building. <laughs> they've been building. Right. And uh, one of our legends, Peter Robertson, that's his team. So yeah, he's been, been saying they've been building. So I'm going to back him and I'm going to go Carlton. And what they've done last year was pretty good. So. Mm. I'm going to have them a lock top four. And Smokey? Yeah, I'll go Doggies. Yeah, I, I think doggies. It, but I'm thinking they're going to make it easy. But if you think enough. they're going to be... Doggies top four. I'll take you on for a bit right now then. Yeah. What do you I'll want? take you. We went, uh, let's go for um, just a coffee. Yeah, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I'm coffee saying dogs aren't making the top four. Sorry, Ads. I oh, know Dunks isn't there anymore, but yeah. sorry, Ads. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just maybe top eight, but maybe yeah, not top, top four. four. Um, top four for me... Obviously, Swans, and I think a lock will be Brisbane. Brizzy. Yeah. yeah. I think it might be a Brizzy Sydney grand final. Do you reckon? Honest. Yeah. Which is probably going to hurt Victoria, but mm. hopefully we're in the NRL grand final and then yeah. just everyone comes That's and watch someone. us instead. Yeah. Uh, okay, Brown, though. Ooh. you got to go your man. I'm going man. the Bond. Yeah. I'm going the Bond. He's been very unlucky, you know, the last couple of years. Mm. He's, he's had some pretty good years and <laughs> haven't won it, so... I'm going the Bont. I'm taking Bont too. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm taking Bont. I yeah, really I like, like him. him. I think they'll they'll go all right, but he'll just yeah. I think a couple of years now. He yeah. obviously doesn't. I don't think he cares too much about the individual accolade, nah. but is a beast. Yeah. So yeah, both of us Bont and Coleman. So lean goal scorer. Kurnow's won it the last two years. Mm. Is that right? I'm just going to go on three Pete. Three Pete. I'm just going to go. I think he's. I think he's won two in a row or one. I don't know. Who knows? Might make a three yeah. pick. I'm going to go Nick Larkey, one of the Kangas boys yeah. up front. Um, I think got close last year. And yeah, I think he'll he'll have another big year. I think the Kangas will be better this year. So yeah. a few more snags and I think he'll bump up. But Charlie will be hard to beat. But let's go Larkey. So flag, doozy's gone. The doggies. Doggies. Top four, doggies, Carlton. Yeah. Brownlow, Bont, Coleman, Kerno. Yeah. I've gone flag, swans, top four. I went Brisbane, yeah. Lock, uh, Brownlow, Bont, Coleman, Larky. Larky. So we'll see how we go. With that, put that in the same. Throw that in a little multi. In a multi. <laughs> <laughs> right. Put some pretty good odds there, I reckon. When's it? It starts next week, doesn't it? Yeah. Next week? Uh, this week. This, this week. week. It's this like weekend. a sort of round one or round zero sort of thing. Yeah, right. So there's only a couple games he's got to buy, but um, yeah, there's a couple games going on, so it should be good. Should be Sydney good. and Queensland, I think. Sydney and Queensland, yeah, no games in Victoria because yep. we're the only game, which we lead into Friday night. Mm. Melbourne Storm, Penrith Panthers, uh, one of the big rivalries in rugby league these days. And obviously they're going, they're off coming off the back of a three-peat. So yep. um, they had a tough loss over in the World Club Challenge. Uh, it's always a, a tough travel um, by the sounds of things. But yep. yeah, coming down to Melbourne Friday night, eight o'clock, Amy Park. And yeah, it's going to be a big one. So it uh, feels like preseason has been going for ages and now we're just yeah. getting to the game. So it's very exciting and, yeah, let you expand on that. But yeah. to be back at Amy Park for round one, uh, pretty special feeling. Yeah, it's massive. Um, just to be 
be back playing footy again, uh, being back at Amy, playing the best team in the comp for the last three to four years. So it's going to be a massive one. And it's always good to test yourself against the best and um, to have it round once, you know, we're pretty lucky to see see how we're going. And obviously we've had a pretty good preseason. So, uh, you know, we want to put all that preseason, all the work that we've done into this game this weekend. And um, yeah, like I said, test us against the best and to have it at home as well is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, I, we've probably said it a lot in this podcast, but we love playing in Amy um, in front of our home fans. Always so passionate, um, loud and loyal. So um, can't wait to see everyone out there on Friday night. Yeah, it's 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 a big game. And like you said, they've been dominant for so long. I think people forget in 2020, like they won 17 games in a row leading mm. into that grand final. Mm. And obviously we beat them and uh, they came back and it made a bit of a spectacle of it. But yeah. 17 games in a row and then winning three premierships in a row. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a big match up round one, and I think that's what you want to do. You want to test yourself straight yeah. up and, and see where you're at. And yeah, we think we're we're strong enough, and we got a side to do it. So, would love the support out Amy Park for anyone tuning in uh, Friday night, eight o'clock. Um, we love our fans there. Sneaky sound system at half time. Yeah, half time. That's a good get. Great get. Great get. I remember it popped up. I thought that's that's one of the great gets. I reckon yeah. we got at half time. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, sneak your sound system at half time if you're not interested in the footy. It doesn't matter. Um, come to the game. We, yeah, we'd love to see you there. Like I said, the energy at Amy Park and, and having people there, it's unbelievable. So mm. hope to see you out there. Hopefully we can get another round one win. Um, mm. Got a pretty good record in that regard. And yeah, build our season strongly from the start. Yeah, super exciting that. And another segment we have this week is called the Clubhouse Leader of the Week. And I guess this segment is just highlighting someone or – or a group of people or a team who we think have um, yeah, been really excellent at what they do or or shared values that we really respect. So, mm. uh, yeah, we're going to lead into that one. We've got one for this week, um, pretty special one. Uh, it is yep. one of our teammates. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you go with that, Husey. Yeah, so our leader, Clubhouse Leader of the Week is um, Tui Kam- Kamitha. Mm. So, um, you know, we, we went over to Fiji for our uh, second trial and – Obviously, that's his, um, you know, his home country. And just to see how he was, um, you know, acting over there and um, obviously they loved him over there, but just to see the way, you know, he bring people like, bring people in, um, obviously led us there. We haven't been there before. So the way he showed us around and um, just to see how much they look up to him and how much he does for the community as well. And uh, we had a day off and he, you know, he, he made sure we organised – um, the boys that go out to different schools and uh, different communities, communities and different villages. Um, it wouldn't have been easy because it, you know, there's a bit of travel um, that come with it. But just to see what he done over there was, you know, very inspiring. Um, I know it was inspiring for a lot of the boys over there, just to see the way he, you know, acted and, um, you know, it inspired myself and just the whole country. It was, yeah. it was an awesome trip. And uh, although we were there to play footy, I feel like it was more than more than just a footy game. To see the smile and like so many of the kids' faces mm. and I know everyone says it and it's always a common thing when someone goes back to their hometown, but it's just a different it's just a different feeling mm. over there. And like you said, like I think the day before we might have played, he went back to his village with a few of the other boys, Nelson and uh, Ellie. They had like a five o'clock flight um, on a little six seater plane <laughs> over into his island and um didn't complain once. They went over there. I seen all the videos of the village. They were so welcoming and so grateful to have him back. And I think he ended up getting back at like seven thirty or eight o'clock that night. And you could just tell he was exhausted. But yeah. I think we fed off that. You know, yeah, we yeah. fed off the fact that he'd done that. He'd been out to his village. He'd taken some of the boys with him. Uh, we know how much it meant to him. And I think we played like that. It was only a trial game, but yeah, I think Tui gets a massive. Um, rap for that week because he could easily complain or complain yeah. how tired he was and yeah. the amount of work he had to do and uh, I guess communication because like a lot of them were so happy to see their guy back in mm. in Fiji and yeah I mean he's talking to everyone smiling yeah. his face but then came to the trial game and did his job yeah. so yeah clubhouse leader of the week Tui Kamika Mitha uh, absolute legend we will try get him on the podcast yeah, um, yeah very very great story and uh, I think he speaks highly of Fiji and the people there and. And just what it takes to actually transition from Fiji and um, make it to the NRL. So, yeah, unbelievable story. And it was great to go see um, him and his people. And, mm. yeah, I guess the way he played against the Knights was 
it's pretty scary. I wouldn't be wanting to come after you. Yeah, he he actually had the one of the bit. He was possessed. He was taking two carries a, a set. <laughs> so, but just to see how happy he was after it too, like mm. just just to see him so happy and how I guess grateful he was to the Storm for taking a game over there and um, doing it so well. But you know, he was probably a big reason why we did do that. So shout yeah. out to Tui. It's just a massive, I guess, reality check of you. Just see the impact. Not only Tui has, but like mm. even yourself, you know, yeah. people having signs of you over there and like the fact that they're walking kilometers to come watch, watch you on a TV and then walking home in pitch black dark with no shoes. Like it's mm. just, it's one of those real humbling experiences. Mm. So yeah, I think probably just goes to show how much of a platform we have. And um, I guess you can get caught up in that cycle a lot of the time of being a footy player and just mm. thinking that your job's to go out there on the weekend and do that. But um, yeah, I think being a role model and Tui done that amazingly mm. over there. So well done, Tui. Hopefully you're watching. And uh, yeah, you're our clubhouse leader of the week, mate. So congratulations. Um, a bit on Fiji, actually. We, uh, we speak a little bit about it. We got to play some golf over there. Mm. Natadola. Natadola. Golf course. That's um, what was. VJ Singh's designed, designed golf course. Yep. And I'm pretty sure you took my cash. So yeah. uh, Yes, I did. Indeed, I did. Pretty good round. They looked after us with the the higher clubs. Yeah. Everyone had the same set, so there was no no, no complaining. No, yeah, but <laughs> there's a couple but, that bring their own. <laughs> there's a couple that bring their own clubs. Um, Christian Welch, Christian he brought Welch his own clubs, and Cameron Munster. And Cameron Munster. So yeah, just like we'll get some people's thoughts in the comments. But personally, yeah. I think that is rubbish behavior. Yeah, um, especially taking money. Like if you win yeah. and you take money, you're like. That's fine. If you got the same clubs, that's all right. But mm. w when you got your your own set of clubs, you should be giving up at least a couple shots. Yep. But they just they just wouldn't. But the way they play golf, I feel like it's needed. Yeah. Right. Like yep. you've played with Bochy a few times. You know his game now. Yeah. Like he puts his driver away, pulls his two iron out. Yeah. Big fades. Massive fades. Massive fades. And Munster's obviously left-handed. So yep. yeah, I'll let you chat about that. Yeah, time. I feel like. Well, she's a funny one. The way he hits the ball, it's he sort of like chops at it, and it just, <laughs> just you can just <laughs> he's screaming like "fuck" before he even hits the ball, and it's just going out. So it's pretty funny. When, and then he like he's like, "Nah, I'm putting it away." And then he puts it away, and then he gets the two iron now. And to be fair, he does hit the two iron pretty good. Oh yeah, and that helps when you got your own clubs, you know. Like yeah, if there's a club that you know I would if if he had the high clubs, he wouldn't have had a two iron. No. Like the rest of us did, so um, yeah, he's like that. And Munn's the same. Munn's he's handed too. He's left-handed. Big um, fade. Big fade. You know, he's just one of those guys that just gets up there and hits it. But yeah. you never know what you're going to get. To describe Munn's style, like he he had a, he played he had a scratch round. Yeah, the round in the off season yeah. at Capital. So he can play. Like he, he play. is he is very solid golfer. But he could also have. 130. Yeah, 130. 130. Hit 130. Two days apart. So yeah. He, yeah, he is a freak. I guess it's it's like his footy. You can just pull stuff out that you just yeah. don't think you can, yeah, you can yeah. do. But um, I think he, uh, Welch, he might be off 15 handicap wise. Yeah. And, and I think that scratch score really stuffed Munn up because he's very low. Well, he's now eight, yeah. I think. Yeah. So <laughs> and to be fair, we probably wouldn't call him an eight golfer, would we? No, nah, I'd say he'd be around 10. Yeah. 10 to 12. Yeah. I think 12's probably pushing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's our stable food yeah. handicap scores and yeah, I guess Welchie and oh, Welchie got lower though for a while mm. and then he started chopping and then he the sandbagged ball. it. Yeah. So sandbagged it. But we do have a Storm Masters yeah. coming up. Coming hopefully. up. So and we should uh, try to get some clips of it. We'll clip some up, talk about it, and we'll chuck some up on the there. The previous one was, was a quality weekend. Yeah. A cathedral. Took it down to the. It was a playoff hole, wasn't it? Rochi, was it? Or did we just play eighteen? No, it was the eighteenth. Yeah, no, was I there? I don't think I was that oh, one. Oh no, that was one of the greats. Anyway, eighteenth um, hole. I mean, David Roach, massive part to sink it, and I think they're still recovering the eighteenth green at Cathedral because <laughs> he carried was jumping, on. yeah, <laughs> jumping Big. up, cutting it up. I've seen a video actually. Big team event, but no, we love our golf and we love Fiji. So hopefully, we can go back there and yeah, anyone watching out at Fiji or the people, we yeah, yeah we just want to thank out. you for having us. It was it was an amazing time, and I'd definitely go back soon. So yeah, Fiji and Vegas are on the agenda for for the future. But um, no, nice little shot. A short, <laughs> sharp, sharp, sharted. Shit. 
Nice little uh, short, sharp show today to start us off. Obviously, Money Man not here. Um, we spoke about the start, but yeah, we just want to, to thank everyone for coming back on for another season of the Clubhouse. Thanks mm. to Rick's Eyewear for jumping on as a sponsor. And yeah, we've got a big week coming up for round one. So we'll get our preparations done, play Friday night, and yeah, hopefully we've got some good news to deliver next week um, for episode two. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you comment. We love the comments. Um, mm. Always going through the comments, having a good laugh. Um, make sure you try share, subscribe to Oz American Aces as well. Um, it goes a massive way to us uh, getting to share these stories and, and getting some guests on as well. So mm. Yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, we'll be back next week for some more. So thanks, guys. We really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone that has tuned into the Clubhouse podcast. Please make sure you have hit the subscribe button on all our channels and also follow us on social media at Oz American Aces so that you don't miss out on any announcements. Catch Catch you at the Clubhouse. Clubhouse. This episode is brought to you by Ricks. Eyewear that inspires confidence. Carefully crafted sunglasses, prescription and blue light eyewear that's made to last. Use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off site-wide. Head over to rickseyewear.com.au and shop all available styles now.